this is uh, Sean Lanier, General Learning Coach for Union County. I'm going to be going through how to um, kind of navigate through a Chrome browser. This is a uh, update from another video I've done in the past. We'll be hitting on things like bookmarks and some general settings and some uh, new little uh, features that you might not be aware of. So one thing I want us to do is I'm just going to be setting in a new tab currently. And what we're going to uh, work on is um, first off starting a bookmark. So let's say, you know, while using Chrome, I want to navigate. If it's a Google Suite product, you already kind of have a default set of bookmarks. And what a lot of people don't realize is, you know, maybe one of these is something you use more frequently. You can actually grab a hold of this and rearrange these. And that gets overlooked quite a bit. And there's additional features down the bottom. So a lot of people will just come in and they initially click and they try to grab these and they don't even see that there are more features in there the other thing is we got some customization here you can actually come down to the pin at the bottom right and customize this and change how you actually want some of this to look we can decide you know i don't want certain uh shortcuts to be set up i want a color theme or i can actually upload a background image in there so you can get things more unique to your personality uh, your account, you can actually come in and modify your picture and have it where it uh, is something more than just the default or the letter that tends to be on there. And then we also have a couple of other things that we can do um, to kind of get some more customization on your browsing. So I'm going to load up Meet. And so Meet is one that you use frequently. So maybe I want this to actually be bookmarked. And so you can have bookmark folders. That actually take precedence or you can have your bookmark bar and so to bookmark we're just going to hit the star off to the right and then this is where we decide i want it on a bar or a folder and we can click more and create more folders and go beyond what's there so on this case i actually i just want to do the bookmark bar so i'm going to click this and we're going to say bookmark and we're going to say google meets on the bookmark bar now you notice it didn't show up that's because I already have a lot of other bookmarks it's actually appearing down here so I want to move it so I'm literally just going to grab it and drag it over you know what it's saying meat is taking up a little bit too much room I recognize that icon I can tell what that is so a neat little trick is to actually double click actually not double click click right click and click edit and then where it says name I'm just gonna get rid of it and I'm gonna hit save and now it's just the icon. So if there are certain like uh, websites that you utilize, like I know that's my calendar, or that's my drive. I don't need the words on there. I can actually shorten up and clean up my browser and do that and get rid of it or shorten it down and just do initials or something like that. And let's say I go through and I end up with a bunch of tabs open through the day. Every single day, it's the same tabs open up. We can actually group some of these together and work off that. So maybe these four Google products are something I use frequently and then I'll throw in um, um, my web page. Well, I don't use my web page frequently enough, but I use these and I work on these daily. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna create a tab group. I'm gonna right click that and I'm gonna say this is my daily tools. And I want them to have this Hill greenish border. So now I'm going to go through and I want to say I want to add to my daily tools, add to my daily tools. Oops, click the wrong thing. And so now all these are grouped together. In fact, I want this one as well. Now when I jump off, I can actually click the daily tools and minimize all those and save all this workspace. So I can have multiple tool groupings together and it work out that way we'll uh, make sure let's stay on the web page maybe i want this little walkthrough tool opened up and so this might be um a new group that has just a to do tasks so you can kind of see this in action with it minimizing out and jumping back and forth i can shrink these things down and so the more tabs you work with if you're one of those who has to have that kind of grouped and thrown together 
uh, this is pretty handy to kind of work forward with. So, frequently overlooked, it was um, part of their little um, flag um, trial piece for a good while, and so defaulted in there now. So, neat option for you. Um, Extensions are easily managed now. They have the extension option thrown off to the side. So if there are certain extensions you want to appear up here that you know, okay, I want my picture in picture tool thrown in, I can add it back in. At any point in time, I can unpin it. Now this isn't deactivating it. This is just making it where it's not showing up across my toolbar. So if I have a lot of extensions and I don't want it taking up that much space, or maybe there's extensions up here that just kind of run in the background, I don't really need to see it. I can come in and say, okay, I don't need to see that tool. I know it's doing what it's supposed to. I don't need to see that tool. And so you can kind of get rid of those. And uh, like I said, you're not disabling it. You're just kind of hiding it away. If there is a tool you want to disable. We can go into more actions and go to manage extensions and deal with it that way. If I want to get rid of it completely, I can do remove from Chrome. But I like navigating this way a little better. So I'm going to go over here to the three dots at the top right, the little snowman. And now I'm going to go to more tools and we'll go to extensions. So here in extensions is where I can really get into turning things on and off. And you can actually search for um, extensions. And so this Microsoft Power Automate, not a tool I really use. I can turn that off or I can simply hit remove and remove it completely. Just because I turn it off doesn't mean I can't turn it back on later on. So really neat little thing to kind of look at and um, something else that kind of pops up that you can update a uh, extension if you know there's probably a newer version of it that hasn't been picked up yet usually these things kind of auto update but you can take care of it that way and every now and then you'll get something that's been flagged and it'll let you kind of be aware of it there so that's a nice little feature Something else we can do is I'm going to come down here and you can go full screen, you can change your zoom, but I like this option. When I go down to settings and look at appearance, you can play around with like your font sizing and make it where, you know, this is a little bit larger font size. Um, if you have a preferred font style, certain pages will let you load up your kind of default fonts. I like to have a little bit more of my screen visible, so I always keep my page zoom set to 90, and so no matter when I load up, that's what it's going to be. And if I ever play around and if I hit Control plus or Control minus I can change the size of it. If I hit reset, it doesn't go to 100%. It goes to that 90, because that's what I've said, that's what I want it at. So, nice little thing, and you can actually change your startups on here as well. So, if you come off of here, you can jump to this real quick on startup. Instead of saying a new tab, I can continue where I left off. So if I close my browser out, it'll come in. Um, I can open up and say, you know, I want to add a specific page and put it in by URL. And then anytime I load up, that's going to be my basically home page. And you can have multiple home pages set to load up when you first turn on Chrome. You turn on the autofills and that kind of stuff. Um, kind of save yourself a little time, just depending on your privacy settings. Keep that in where. If ever I'm running Chrome and I realize, oh, I accidentally closed the tab I didn't want to, so I didn't want to close this one. If I hit Control Shift T, Control Shift T, it'll bring that back up. And I can just keep hitting that and it's going to keep bringing those pieces back up. So a nice little feature in there. And I think if there's any other little thing I want to jump into. I think that'll probably do it for us today, guys. Um, if you come across anything you want to know more about or um, have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I do thank you for your time, and uh, that'll be it for today, guys. Thank you. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Please click the like button and subscribe so you can stay up to date on any future videos.